Wir sind Didalik, das gut. We're Didalik. It's common courtesy. We don't just generate our maps randomly. The most gorgeous thing in Blackbards are the characters. They've turned out so good, and after two and a half years of development, you really grow fond of them. Our intent is not to make the game overly difficult for the players, but we want it to be a challenge. Dark, mature, and in 3D. With their turn-based RPG, Black Arts Delic Entertainment is treading new ground. It is only fitting that we didn't meet with senior producer Kai Fiebig and his team in their studios, but rather in the tenebrous dungeons beneath, which are exclusively reserved for this project. Practices like these are unpleasant but necessary. Creating an RPG always comes with a lot more of blood, sweat and tears than an adventure. We love telling stories, and the RPG was always the adventure genre's neighbor. Blackguards takes place in the universe of Europe's most successful pen and paper role-playing game, The Dark Eye. In contrast to all the soft predecessors, though, we take off the white gloves. You won't get to play a Paragon hero with this one. The appeal of playing a scoundrel in Blackguards is basically your moral flexibility. You don't have to play by the rules. But breaking them may have consequences. <laughs> Don't break anything. Yes, we ultimately went for criminals, since you've already seen the virtuous heroes saving the princess a lot of times. There's some point where you get tired of being the hero. We don't have hardcore felons here, however. They're not loathsome. They're rogues. Deep, damaged characters, basically. We just wanted to turn things upside down. We said we wanted interesting characters, polarizing, with a good deal of grit. Often the bad guys are more relatable, often even more likable than your goody two-shoes hero. It's amazing. I think we really succeeded in creating a strategy game with a lot of depth to it. Sure, there are some more relaxed maps in between, where you can just casually slay your way through some enemies. But otherwise, we definitely fought teeth and claw during development to keep that depth. We had this huge pile of skills and spells, and all from the Dark Eye source books, and we wanted to keep as much as possible. Interactive map objects, the environment you can use to your advantage during battles. All this offers an insane variety of options to solve the problems we present the player with, and to win battles. One of the challenges was that in a world like the Dark Eye universe, there already are plenty of characters with stories written for them. The hard part is to avoid a clash with these characters and set stories. Aventuria's story is constantly expanded by hard-working writers, and so we did the following. We picked the area of the Emirate Mengbilla, the Wild South, an area that has not been played that often. It's not as restrictive and tightly written as other parts of Aventuria. That makes things deliberately easier for us to tell our story. Designing something like that is a bit like dancing chained up. You have to stick to the source material. This means creatures, characters and the world are very close to the books. The challenge to implement all this in the world was mainly in terms of design and the wiggle room we had to give ourselves. Many times we had to be interesting, more bold than we were supposed to be. Make colors more vibrant, bolder in terms of forms and the whole stylization. The biggest challenge was certainly the rules. No pen and paper player would want to do without the rules. And implementing these rules into blackguards and making them work was tough. We made many things more transparent for the player. This means we kept the rules, but a lot of things happen automatically, in the background, so the player doesn't have to deal with them. 
Of course, anyone can check on the background processes, but it's way more simple this way. It's really nice to see the players start talking to the heroes. When they go like, Zerberan botched up another spell check, come on man, at least pretend you're a wizard. Additionally, every one of the Black Arts team had their personal challenge. There are hundreds of thousands of obstacles, because we weren't yet familiar with the tech. Fiddling your way into this, finding out how things work, getting to know the new engine, getting familiar with the new work processes, those were the difficulties in the beginning. But when you had the first results on your screen, that felt good and gave you the motivation you needed to pull through this. Yes, programming an AI causes all kinds of mayhem. It's really like educating little children, teaching them to walk and to react to stuff. The craziest of situations happen during this process. One moment you think you taught them sensible enemy behavior and suddenly they start pushing our nice interactive objects all over the place. Without any sense or reason, they move around chairs. <laughs> 